Looks like our heroes survived the toe jams, but they've still got an awful lot of colossus left to climb. This month on D and D Minus. We see five sleeping bodies just outside a cave. Bridget's healing magic dances like lightning across their wounds, fading bruises and knitting flesh back together. The sun sheds its first beam over the foothills of Rhodes, and as it strikes the sleeping form of Dave the Dragonborn, his skin glows with the mark of a golden chain wrapped around his arm. He's dreaming of a girl named Heckleholm from his village, and is in the fairly fun part of the dream when he is woken up by the furious slaps of a pug of pegacorn. (laughs) Don't you have any idea how much dissolving in a cube hurts? I was having a fucking dream about Humplacklehorn. Get away. (laughs) Oh, I'm sorry. Did I ruin your dream? Allow me to go over here and make some magic stones while your body is dissolving out of your corporeal form. Look the shiny stones I made, everybody. I, I expected other people to throw them. They're magical. I he was, he was setting up the rest of the party. You're a pug. I can beat you up. I'm a pug of Pegacorn, and I will horn you directly into the pee hole. I will wait until you sleep because I am the demon. I never have to sleep. And as you can tell now, I cannot die because I'm a familiar. I'd like to roll for fighting Carl. Yay. All right. Great. Roll for initiative against Carl. <laughs> Excuse me. Wait, wait. I, I believe. Excuse. I believe I am awake because I. You said my magic was helping you, so I. I cannot stand for this. You cannot. You cannot kill that beautiful little pug. He's just a tiny wee little. Little You're already healed. You're good. Bootsy. He literally just threatened to stab me in the dick hole. Yeah, I, I do that every hole. day. Why are you getting so all up in your grill about it? Yeah, you're in. You're in your grill. That's right. Untwist <laughs> those right. panties, little boy. Untwist your pants. That's exactly what I was wow. going to say. Yeah, that's like. But yeah, anti-feminist. Okay. Just I said for, little just for boy. Clarity. Boys can wear yeah. panties. Yeah. Mm. You're the one complying to heterotropic norms. Mm, it felt like there was, <laughs> there was some bigotry. The, anyway, late, the point the is, the I'll fight comments. with Dave. As you can see, I can't <laughs> die. <laughs> Marcus over here, like, I actually rolled pretty good for initiative, so I'm. <laughs> <laughs> I have plus five. The point day. is. <laughs> the point is, as you can see, I can't die. I'm your familiar, so the only way for me to die is for me to sever my soul, uh, and I have to choose to do that. So I'm alive, and maybe if you could keep me alive for this next part of the adventure, that would be really great. I would really appreciate it. Yeah, but just tr- maybe try to avoid like giant cubes of goo in the future. That just seems obvious. But all right, I'm just gonna put my horn in your penis hole. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Nothing. I was talking about garlic bread. <laughs> <laughs> As you make your way out of the foothills, you find they open to a sheer wall made of white stone that goes straight up as far as you can see. Sammy, who's sort of been hanging back watching this whole thing, says, Well, these are the holy shins. If it's the head that you're looking for, first you'll have to make the climb. Thank you. The holy shins. Thank you. Uh, yeah, sheer Thank- shins. Got it. Good. Got it? Uh, 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 I don't right. get the pun. I don't, I, I don't <laughs> it's, it's get it. It's just bad alliteration. Holy shins? Really? No? Nothing? Holy Are shins. you trying, and, like, holy shite? Yep. That's... Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, it right. starts with S-H? Yeah. I? Okay. So, uh, it's it's one letter letter off. I That's get technically it. wordplay. What's, yep. what's, right. like, no, what, it, it, you it's, what? it's the opposite of a rhyme. A rhyme is when the ending is the same. It's what's, the, what's when the beginning is the same. <laughs> you know the, what? Thank you. Why kind of like you alliteration. Take it, yeah. Why don't you take it and bring it back to the round table and just like workshop it a little bit more? Maybe you can come up with something, I don't know, 
there's a you band had sheer. Called the you should have just gone with sheer. I thought shins. maybe it was the band. I thought it was a reference to the band too. I wasn't. It was, mm. it was, it was, it was, whatever it happens to be a reference to, here they are. Um, I can't make the climb with you in my condition, but there are ledges to fit y'all. So I, you I can, thought I healed you. Did I not heal you just now? Uh, you did, but I've unfortunately been too badly injured to continue the climb with you. Huh. Kind Is it the bone good. spurs? Okay. So probably bone spurs, I would imagine. <laughs> Thanks. Anyway. Uh, you have shin splints. Nailed it. <laughs> oh, you're really gonna hate That's the next pun. 45 oh, seconds of the game. One. Oh well, you just wait <laughs> for about 50 seconds. <laughs> well, don't worry. I'm gonna delete this because it's gonna be original. It's gonna be my joke because I wrote it before you guessed it. Actually, Noah guessed it two weeks ago, and I deleted that from his episode. So <laughs> it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I am original and none of you ever saw anything I've written coming. And the point is, I can't make it with you, but uh, you'll be able to rest between the climbs and one of you will always need to take the front. So be a lookout. Oh, and watch out for splints. Oh, like shin splints? Yes, like shin splints. Got it. <laughs> quite original. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Uh, so as you reach the first ledge of the Holy Shins, you hear the unmistakable sound of bone squeaking against bone above you. And as you look up to see where the noise came from, a spiny spear of bone sticks thunk, into the wall next to your head. And Carl says, oh, those must be the splints she was talking about. So here's how this fight slash challenge is going to work. I'm going to call this a climbing battle. So at the end of each round of combat, you're going to make an athletics check to see if you can make it up to the next ledge to climb these shins. There are several paths to those ledges, and whoever you designate as being out in front will be the only person to make a perception check as to which is the safest and easiest to climb. However, whoever is standing at the front will take all of the enemy attacks for that round. If you fail your athletics check, you got to wait another full round of combat before trying again. If you succeed, at the end of the next round, you can use a strength check to help a teammate up. The first climb looks fairly simple, I will tell you, with the path up the mountain forking both to the left and to the right. So, ah. who's taking the front? Hmm. Okay, it's perception and, um, and uh, athletics. And strength. And sh yeah. Perception, athletics, and strength. And strength. Okay. I actually, I, I, I have some pretty baller athletics, it looks like. So, plus four, right? So, you're all going to use athletics oh, to are. actually get up the ledge. What the, uh, the only person who has to make the choice is the person in front. That person will make a perception check for each round as to which path you should go to. But that person will also take all the damage for that round. Okay. I've got plus five perception. All right. So I feel like then whoever has low perception should take this first one so that they can load up on damage oh. early and whoever has high perception should take the. Yeah. And so I should probably go first because I have probably the most HP and a, and a zero on perception. I have a plus one perception. So yeah, my perception. I also have a too. plus one perception. Do, did the long rest get us our hit points back and the healing? I yes, so. you should. If you haven't given yourself a long rest, you should take a long rest right now. Okay. Well, how about since I've got a lot of experience climbing shit, like from the, the the ship I lived on for a long time. You climbed stuff on the I ship? I did. I did. I think you guys should take the easy part and then I'll take the harder part when we get up. Because I know that Dave over here is going to be so scared of heights. I, I'm not scared of all right, you go first, but th that's not. What? All right, Claw, why don't you start us off? Here, Thank then? you. Yeah, I'll go first since I have the lowest perception and average HP. <laughs> All right. Jesus. Uh, everybody, <laughs> roll for initiative for me. Hey. Eight. All right. Six. Uh, Six. 22. 22. Which means there will never be a good roll again. 16. <laughs> and I never did 16? do my portent yeah. rolls. Uh, oh, yeah. Roll those portents for me right now. A, a six and a 15. All right. Excellent. So you can switch out anyone's rolls for those two. 
yours, anyone else's. Claw, you are up first. You are at the front. Roll a perception check for me. 11. All right. The path on the left looks like the more difficult climb, but you can't be sure. <laughs> Completely not helpful. <laughs> so which of the two paths do you take? <laughs> The left, <laughs> I guess. The more wants, difficult he climb. Wants, he wants, but you, to you don't left. know. He mentioned the left. Oh my god! Let's just go. Right <laughs> oh my god! See, I when think you said Eli... left, was that your left or our left? God, <laughs> mm. <laughs> I think Eli's trying to trick us. But <laughs> sure, let's go right. All right, Wh oh. whatever you want. If you want to go left, the way he said, all right. I now uh -huh. I think you should yeah, stay yeah, with yeah, your original. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> are you going left or right go left left yes. going left oh, all right fuck are you mother Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> all right i don't uh, think mind games. everybody I know whatever whatever we pick it's going to be something to set up no i mean it was right. very clear that we should have gone right but <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is I the mean, this is the first fork fuck me there's a bunch of tricks i wrote that, some tricky shit in here later but the whole left and right thing really fucked you guys up <laughs> <laughs> oh but i can't there with be Wallace. sure though damn it we're going right we're going right here we go we're going right <laughs> you're sitting there with wallace sean drinking both the poisons <laughs> 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 Touche, Moriarty. Oh, my goodness. Oh, God. All right. So you're going right. I'm going right. Excellent. Everybody, roll an athletics check for me. Mm -hmm. That oh. would be... Oh, wait. 12. You're going to one plus two. <laughs> okay. Snedrick and... Uh, you know what? I should not lump Sne how Snedrick does in with how Dave does. Snedrick, you very, very nearly make it to the top of this ledge, but slide back down. Dave half jumps into the air and goes, this is bullshit. <laughs> three, three plus one. Three plus one? Yep. Uh, another failure. So Claw, yeah. he lands, lands on top on of Claw. Claw. Yeah. <laughs> Bridget? I got a nine plus four. All right, you actually do make it onto the first ledge, and because you made it onto the ledge, in this round, you will have advantage on your attack rolls. And you're going to need it, because as you are all struggling to climb, and one of you actually is managing to climb up this ledge, sections of the bone that make up this wall tear themselves free of the rock, and half skeletons, half thorn bushes with spears growing out of their hands and bodies, the splints, come menacingly towards you. Morgan, you were up first. Let's just do a regular... Uh, I get a bonus strike if I do an unarmed strike, right? You do, except they're definitely nowhere close to you. They're about 15, 20 feet away from you right, okay. on the other side of a sheer cliff. Who are okay. they, by the way? Splints. The splints, the, the thorny Hello. things that were just coming out of the wall. Okay, they're, they're creatures that like made of, made of the bone that kind of pops out of the shin area. Exactly. Okay. Um... Is this is are, is where we are dark? No, not particularly. Okay, it's the side of an open cliff. Okay. <laughs> what I, were you gonna do based I, on the I, amount of light? I love uh, how Morgan tries to make it harder for himself. Every no, I got a time. bunch of like darkness things at second level. Oh. Mm. Fucking assholes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, I'll Mr. Go I'm going to go the hard way because this obviously looks harder for everybody. Let's do yeah, that. No, that's that's usually, that's my MO usually. But I'm just going to uh, move and do a quarter staff strike on whichever one is closest. I rolled an 18. That'll hit. Uh, 1d6 plus. Hey, 6 plus 3. 9 damage. All right. You take out your quarter staff and you crack it right across the bony forehead of the first creature, which staggers backwards and hisses menacingly at you. And that uh, splint is going to be next. It is going to make two attacks against you with the bone spear that sort of grows out of its hand. Was oh, that like a bone spur, but spear? <laughs> hey, it has hands. 
Yeah, it sort of it its hands turn into bone spears and it seems to be able to like <laughs> manipulate the bone of its own body. So it it kind of has hands, but those hands turn into blades and then back again. All right. So we're fighting Terminator. Yeah. Spiky bone Terminator. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh so it's going to obviously take a swing at you claw and it is going to miss. So it it sort of reels backwards, but it's so stunned by your quarter staff that it sort of chunks directly in front of you instead of actually managing to hit you. Next up, the one behind that is going to attempt to throw a spear of bone at Bridget because she's in the front. Ah, fun. And it is going to... Yeah, isn't she supposed to take all the damage if there's damage? She is, but Claw ran directly oh, up to Oh, okay, them. yeah, all right. No, yeah. That's fair. And it is going to hit. Hey, look at me. Yes. Look at me. <laughs> Wait. It is going to hit. It is going to hit past a 17 class armor. Yes, it is. Okay. <laughs> Be that way. Wait, actually, is it? <laughs> That's... This is why he lies is... in the basement. It's going to miss. <laughs> it's going to miss. That's well done, Anna, for, pointing that for out. naming the numbers that the god <laughs> is supposed to know about. Good job. <laughs> the god's fucking D&D Beyond setup. Disappeared before the recording. <laughs> uh, God's having so a little it, bit of trouble with his internet. It's fine. <laughs> so it throws the spear as hard as it can, and it sinks thunk, right next to your head, but does not hit you. That's going to make it easier to climb later. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Bridget, you're up next. Okay. Uh, so I am confused. I'm sorry. I don't know. <laughs> I don't understand. There's a cliffside that they are on, but they are not on the second level of whatever we were standing on before. Let me paint you a word picture. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. You're on a ledge. I'm on a, a ledge. A nice... Everyone is. Oh. Everyone is on a ledge. Okay. Yeah? A nice, thick ledge that you could drive a small cart across. Yeah? Okay. Dave and Snedrick and Claw just tried to climb up to the higher ledge, the one that you're on, and oh, they failed. Okay. So they're on the first ledge. Nice. When that happened, four splints pulled themselves out of the wall and started to move towards them to attack them. You are on the higher ledge, which is slightly more narrow above them, which is why you get advantage on any attacks you do. Oh, cool. Nice. And they're like 20 feet down the ledge, right? The enemies? Yeah, they're about 15, 20 feet down the ledge, except for the one in front of you, which is right in front of you. I'm going to use a crossbow to get one of them. Nice. Um, so I'm gonna, yeah. And that is a, oh, uh, sorry guys. That's a two plus, uh, four. Not gonna do it. Yeah. You fire a crossbow bolt, but it just ping right off the yeah. bone. And it, it, it sort of looks up and gra Oh, actually you have a uh, advantage. So roll that again. Oh shit. That's right. Nice. Advantage, advantage. Oh, yeah, that is a 19 plus four. Sorry, it was plus four, oh. not plus. Oh, it's plus three, not plus four. Sorry. All right. And which one are you going for? The one that is damaged or. Uh, or one of the undamaged I'm ones? I'm going to go for the undamaged ones just to see what sort of hit points they got. Fantastic. Roll that damage for me. Okay. It's not great, guys. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> that's a three. Three damage. All right. But you take a nice little chunk of bone out of the thing and it sort of reels back and looks up at you and hisses. Cat, cat, All right. Can, cat, cat. Another one that's behind sort of sees what's going on, decides that it's going to jump off the cliff. I'm going to go for Bridget. It's going to roll. Oh, joy. And, oh, it critically misses. So oh. this, this bone creature pulls itself free from the wall, maybe two, three times the size of the other creatures that are on the wall. It looks upward, and two vicious spears grow magically out of its hands. It roars a mighty, echoing roar, which causes a single stone to fall on this creature, and it instantly shatters into dust and dies. <laughs> you think that was impressive? You should see what happens when it unmagically grows spears out of its hands. That's <laughs> hey, that's fucked up. <laughs> Not sure what that what work that adjective was doing. <laughs> <laughs> 
What's that, Noah? You loved what I just said? That was pretty Delete awesome. and move. Delete and move. <laughs> <laughs> uh, speaking of which, Snedrick, you are up next. I'm going to use my Ray of Frost against them, I guess. Nice. Do it. Damaged one or undamaged two? I will do the one that claw hit, the more damaged of the two. Roll that d20 for me. 15. 15 plus, or is that 15 total? Uh, I don't think there's... Oh, no, it's plus five. So 20? 20. 20. That'll hit. Roll that damage. All right. And the damage is... Uh, Three. Three. All right. So again, another chunk gets taken out of this and it's it's looking rough. It's not a it's not happy this one that's uh taking those two hits. You're lucky I didn't think of a splinter cell reference by now. I'll <laughs> by, <laughs> by the time I get back, you come back around to me, I'll have a banana splint thing though, probably, motherfucker. Hey, that's a good one because ice cream. <laughs> oh damn it, yeah, with the ray of frost. Fuck yeah, man. I totally could have got a banana splint in there. Ah, oh, we need to workshop this shit beforehand. That's what we need to do. <laughs> I'm just saying it's it's an editable show. If you want to say sweet shit, I will edit it. So you always <laughs> say sweet shit. <laughs> we need not be limited in this format. <laughs> All right. And then there's a sort of smaller splint. It pulls itself free from the wall. It takes aim at Bridget as well with its spear I'm arm. I am so popular today. Yep. And it will hit. Oh, boy. Well, remember, you're out in front, so you're going to take all the damage for the round that you're out in front. I get it. Mm -hmm. That's six damage, Bridget. Fun. All right. And Dave, closing out the round for us. All right. I would like to use my Scorching Ray, Ooh. which creates three rays of fire and I hurl them at targets within range. I can hurl them at one target or several. I'm going to I'm going to hurl one ray at each of three. There are total four. There were four. I think there are only three. Oh, now. the one that got shattered to death by a rock is gone. Okay, so yeah, one at each of them and I make a ranged spell attack for each ray on a hit. Target takes 2d6 fire damage. Wow. Do it. Six. Oh, and, and at higher levels, when I cast this spell using a spell slot of third level or higher, and I believe I'm level three, right? Uh, yeah, but you only have second level spell slots. I know. That's stupid. I know. I know I didn't invent D&D. &D. Hey, okay. D&D &D people maybe have the numbers <laughs> line the fuck up. All right. <laughs> anyway. All right. So what do I roll? Uh, uh, three D20 for me. D20 three times in a row? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I would love it if we actually got into a fight with all of the real D&D people. <laughs> <laughs> That's a six. That's a miss. That's a miss. And a 19. What's his That's a hit. What's his modifier, though? Oh, yeah. I uh, I, I'm plus five I on added all it. these. Yeah, I added it all those oh, times. I don't think you did. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, it's still pretty fucking low, so yeah. That's, That's a nine, an 11, and a 24, yeah? That was very yeah. impressive, Yes, Eli. that is plus Wonderful. five on those numbers I named. Yeah, but Eli so. would not have been able to do that math that fast. He clearly had <laughs> no, already. I it. qualified Let's, for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> roll, roll those 2d6 for me, Heath. Okay. Wait, does he get to choose which of the three he hit, or are you choosing? Uh, no, I just did them in order. One, two, three. Okay. Okay, I rolled a two and a three. All right, five damage. So... Two rays just over the heads, but they sort of flinch a little bit back from the flame. And the third ray catches the farthest back smaller splint and it goes sort of no, it goes kick, 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 kick with the with the hurt. Mm -hmm. In your face. Yeah, kick, right. yeah, kick. Yeah. Exactly. It's important kick, to get kick, those kick. syllables right. Indeed. All right. Start around two. Bridget, you are already on the first level, so you can make a strength check to help someone up if they fail. Everyone else, make an athletics check for me. Uh, I will do. Uh, yeah. I'll, I'll 16 check. or plus two. 18. Hey, I also Dave makes it up. I also 10. 16. Claw makes it up. Snedrick does not make it up. I'm going to do a strength check to help him out. Roll that strength check for me. That is a five plus. Two. Oh, that just 
does it, just does it with the, with struggle, and it's not pretty. Maybe there's some sh he shits a single ass wolf <laughs> by accident, but he does make it up to the second. Y'all know I'm a fucking gnome, right? I mean, it's not like this is a fair d damn thing for all of us. It, it's he's harder like for dwarf, or okay. that he's heavy to lift up. <laughs> all right, who's who's up front for this round? Let's get that ass wolf up front. <laughs> <laughs> Who's out front this time? Who's making the perception check? I only have 17 hit points. Yeah. I was going to say, let's oh, go Dave. Let's Dave. I got 24, if that's helpful. That's it's a lot more than 17. Helpful. All right. Uh, I'm so going to go. I'm going to, I'll do the perception check. All right. Hey, you are... hey Eli, how many, mm -hmm. can, can you tell us how many ledges there are that yes. we have to make it up? There are three ledges. Oh, okay. All right, cool. So you've got two more. Mm-hmm. Do we? Do we? That's, is that so? So the first one is zero. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes three equals nope. two, and sometimes <laughs> two equals three. See, it's, this is why I didn't trust myself. There are four ledges. Uh -huh. We've got three more. Oh, we started on the zero with, and now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's why I was confused. That's what it is. Yep. I was like, what ledge are they on? They are on the floor down below, aren't they? All right, roll that perception check for me, Dave. That's an eight plus one. Eight plus one. All right. The path on the left looks like the I'd easiest like the path climb. On the left. <laughs> with big chunky blocks of bones sticking out and easy handholds. Nice. The center looks similar to the one that you just climbed, and the one on the right seems to be a sheer wall with no place to gain purchase. Hold on. Which path on. do you take? Hold on. You guys that feel like that that one on the right is clearly like gonna be the easiest, even though it sounded the hardest? Yeah, uh, like no, I don't would, feel that way at all. I mean, but it seems like the I, left would have we more take a quick monsters vote? come so out of the So Snedrick wall? says definitely no, that's dumb. Anybody else on the right? Uh, Anybody think, in favor of the right? I think that, remember, we're seeing this as characters, since we're talking in character voices, we're seeing this. What do you think That's That's you pretty meta, Bridget. That would um, be, since you saw it with your own eyes. Well, well I since think you you're looking at it too, also. And would you agree that we should go to the right, even though it looks harder? I would not go to the one that looks harder. No. You saw it with a nine, not a nineteen. So well, this is a very, very weird. You're, you're weird suggesting thing that I saw say. it with like you saw it with nine, nine eyes. He's only got so yeah. the amount that I could have seen it with. You mean? <laughs> so like he's gonna tell you different things depending on what you roll. So like if you roll low, who's he? You're you're talking about crazy yes, things. Yes, I'm I don't talking understand. about crazy god man, the god of the universe. Well, the, the thing is, honestly, I can't tell if Morgan's using a character voice or not, so he might just be Morgan right now. We don't know. <laughs> <laughs> who the fuck said that? Oh, my God. Who said that? Why don't you scream as Morgan in character and talk regular when you're out of character? <laughs> my point is, like, he's going to tell so you you're different. Yeah. He's going to tell you different <laughs> things based on what you roll, and you rolled low. So. Right. Yeah, but he has to play it like that. Yeah, one way or the other. I mean, honestly, like I, I I'm, I'm really, uh, you know, out of character, tempted to go with the middle because he said it looks like the one that we just went up. Yeah, yeah. I think the left is going to have more enemies for sure. What did okay. the left one look like? The it left had, it had a bunch easiest, of shit stick to, sticking but it had out of the bone sticking enemies. out. But had more things sticking out. Okay. There or you go. yeah, it looked yeah. the easiest, but there's a suspicion that that means more enemies. I think that's a valid suspicion. I, I think the okay. thing sticking out of the wall means more enemies, not the that it looks easy. Yeah, I think yeah. just because Eli is yeah, doing that. Yeah, that too. Yep. Yeah. A hundred percent. All right, so I'm saying I'm saying we go middle. I like Noah's idea. I like that as well. Ditto. All yeah. right. Excellent. Everybody, make those athletics checks for me. Ooh. That's a three. <laughs> That's a three plus two for This is Dave. really weird that I also rolled a three. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you athletic motherfuckers, you. I rolled a two plus zero. So. <laughs> Once again, <laughs> stop balling on us, motherfucker. <laughs> flailing ball of limbs comes crashing to the floor. Please. Bridget, did you, did you make it up this I, time? I rolled a seven plus four. You did not make it up. <gasps> no. <laughs> I think I think honestly that one of us grabbed onto you. You were about to get up there, <laughs> and we pulled you down. Okay, this time. so yakety sax just played, and we all crumbled into a pile and shat ourselves. We're still yep. on the same ledge. Cool. Indeed, you did. <laughs> Hey, everybody.
everybody. Just dropping in for a second to thank you again for listening to the show. It is so much fun to make, and we are so glad those of you who listen enjoy it. Uh, if you like the show, why not head over to iTunes? Give us a five-star review there. It helps us move up the rankings, helps more people find out about the show, or tweet about the show, Facebook about it. All that stuff helps out. And if you love the show, why not sign up to support us on Patreon? Over at patreon.com forward slash D and D minus, all spelled out. You'll get access to our mini game we did, Lasers and Feelings, as well as one... And by the time this releases, maybe two Dungeon Master's Corners? I haven't recorded and edited that second one yet, but but maybe. Maybe it will be there. You'll only know by signing up at patreon.com forward slash D&D minus. And there's also commercial free versions of the show and behind the scenes. And you get to messages, all sorts of cool stuff. Anyways, thanks so much for listening to the show. It's a ton of fun to do, and we're so, so happy you're liking it. All right. Thanks so much. All right, Claw, you're up first. Wait, if there's, but the things aren't on the same level as us, are they? The splints actually come skittering up the ledges after you when you make your first climb. Okay, so there's three left. One has yeah. nine points of damage. One has five points of damage. One is unhurt. Exactly. I'm going to attack the one with nine points of damage. With are they are they close to us now or no? Same distance, fifteen feet. Yeah. Uh-huh. Didn't you do nine points? Because I think I you did nine points of damage and I did three points. Oh, okay, great. So, so you should have twelve. Damage. Okay, cool. Uh, then I'm gonna move over to the one with twelve points of damage and attack with uh, quarterstaff again. Do it. Come on, god damn it! Five plus. Uh, plus five? Nope. This splint learned its lesson. You whip out your quarter staff, but it ducks underneath and goes, <laughs> and it's actually going to attack you. And since it just ducked under you, it is going to make a multi attack. It's going to attack you twice with the bone spear coming out of its hand. That is going to be a 13 and a nine. That's a hit and a miss. Hit and a miss. All right. For the hit, you will take eight damage. All right. The one behind that is going to aim for Dave because Dave is out front for this round. It is going to, it's going to grow a bone spear out of its hand. This time, non-magically, you actually see that it's lowering the, uh, spear out of its sleeve and that it's got a dove up there as well oh it's got okay <laughs> yeah. yeah it's a trick this one this one can't do that it's just so it felt left out so it's it's been faking it for all okay. these years uh, yeah, okay it's, it's a long okay. it's a long backstory behind this shin splint that you'll never hear and it's going to roll <laughs> to attack dave that's gonna be a eight that's not gonna hit you nope yeah, it's too busy with the misdirection. It's doing some kind of story-based thing. You can tell it was trying to like load a playing card into its pocket at the same time. So it it just sort of clatters a spear next to you. And Bridget, you are up. Okay, cool. I'm going to uh, go over to them, right? And then sure, I can I can go over to them and uh, use my warhammer. Yeah, yeah. Do it. You're doing the one at the front that. Uh, Already has the damage on it, or the one behind that, or the one behind that. Yeah, I'm gonna do the one at the front that has the damage on it. It's got it's got twelve points. You said left. I did not say how many points it oh, has. It left. already has twelve points of damage on it. I see. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm gonna do the one behind it if that's possible. All right. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah. Um. <laughs> yeah, but that's a four plus uh four. Yeah. Hit. Unfortunately, that does not hit. So you push past the first bone spur and you slam your warhammer directly above the splint's head. All right. Dead splint. Snedrick, you're up next. All right. I'm going to do my ray of frost again to the one that has the 12 damage. Do it. Good luck, Snedrick. Uh, I won't need it because I just rolled a five. That's five plus five. It's ten. Oh, Oh, the frost runs... Just yeah. above, uh, just above the head, you see a big chunk of bone in the wall freeze and grow brittle, but it, it misses and it, uh, the splint hisses, menacing at you. 
Uh, the small one at the very back, it is going to make its multi-attack. It's going to throw two spears at Dave in a row. And um, that is going to be A, 10. Not hit. And 16. Hit. All right. So it hits you once for, that'll be five points of damage. Five damage. Hit me. All right. Boom. All right. Make those athletics checks. Don't I get a turn before that? Oh, yeah, you do. Sorry. <laughs> Skip over your turn. Christ. Dave, you're up, you're up last. I would like to do something in this universe. Great. <laughs> Thank you. I will... Oh, uh, I'm going Scorching Ray again. It's got three possible hits. I'm using it. All right. Scorching Ray. That All is right. the last of your spell slots. All right. So I got to use can trips if I want spells after this until we correct mm -hmm. do a short rest right yeah short yep. rest. roll those 3d20 for me all right nice 15 15 plus 5 mm -hmm. that'll hit 5 plus 5 nope and 11 plus 5 mm, that'll hit all right I got two hits roll that damage for me so a d6 twice in a row, two times. Uh, Total of four times. That, you just destroyed my brain. Just roll. No, they're going to do the <laughs> same amount of damage. two by two. Destroyed yeah. your brain? And you, bl you blew me away. Okay. Couldn't gonna, handle oh, it. Oh, they're so going to do the same amount of damage each, so I'd only have to roll yeah. twice. Okay. Correct. All right. Oh, five and three. So the yeah. eight, eight, and eight damage. Yeah. And was it the first and the third ones that hit? Mm -hmm. Okay. So... You, your first Scorching Ray goes into the slightly brittle damaged one at the front, and it just explodes into Bone Splinters. So that first splint that's taken all the damage is destroyed, and the far small one at the back, it gets a huge chunk of bone comes smashing off of that one, and it's, it's just barely standing. It's sort of dragging half of its bone arm towards you and sort of menacingly hissing, but you can tell its heart isn't in it. All right. Next up, everybody make those athletics checks for me. I'd like to make a sweet, a sweet taunty pun about something with bones after I hit those guys. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, man. I got nothing for you on heat. I had a chill to the bone thing that I was going to do with my Ray uh, of Frost. I got shit for a heat, though. That's, Fuck. Uh, something about a hot boner? No. Yep. Hey. I say yep. something about a hot boner. <laughs> All right. Great. Roll for Dave wit. Says, uh, <laughs> Dave says... I have a hot boner, and Carl looks. <laughs> Carl flies slightly away from him. <laughs> All right, I felt bad about the last um, about having to have Bridget help me up the last time, so I'm going to backflip up this motherfucker because yeah. I got a 19. Whoa! I got an 18 plus one. I got a 10 plus two. I got a natural 20, so I am also going to backflip up that shit. All right. You know what, Dave? Dave, you would have failed, but because Bridget has a nat 20, just as your hand yeah. slips, she catches you. Nice. Like Cliffhanger with Sylvester Stallone. Yep. No, it's like Cliffhanger with Sylvester Stallone, so he, you then drop him and he dies. <laughs> <laughs> and you're, yes. you're haunted about it for the rest of your life. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I was hoping you guys uh, hadn't paid a lot of attention to Cliffhanger. <laughs> Saw that motherfucker in theaters, thank you. Uh, ah, really? <laughs> so did I. It was so bad. I it really I was too was. young. <laughs> but I wanted to. All right. Who is taking the front this time? So we only have one left, right? You have two left. I can go front again. I barely got hit that time. Claw, you or I? Uh, you are, how low on HP are you? I have 21 hit points. Okay. I'm sitting at 17, so if somebody's, whenever one of you guys drops below 17, I can obviously jump in, but I don't have great perception either. I'm at 16, and I think Dave's at, like, 20. I'm at 19. 19. All right, so then it should be, um, Bridget. I, I could take the last two, probably. Well, I mean, like, I think whoever has the lowest... Uh, or the highest hit point should take the last one, but like right now you're at the highest hit point, so I think well, for we sure probably, you should take that one. Any of us could probably survive another one, and we could just save Bridget for the last one. Oh, that's true. That's that's actually a good point. Wait, you have the highest perception, don't you? I do. Yeah, I think. 
We should probably just save you for the last. We'll probably make it through another round. I can. I can dying. do two. I. Yeah. I, right. Right. No. I. I feel like that best bet is because she might not even take damage. You never know. She might not. Honestly, yeah. you. You guys have you know fallen to your fucking faces most of the time, except for that last one. I did a fucking so. backflip on that one. Well, I know. That's, that's, that's going to happen regardless me, of you. Me have high and Snedrick are going to go off and join the circus after this whole thing is over. Obviously. <laughs> so. That's but fine. For but the I mean, squad goals. Your perception doesn't change whether or not we fall. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> True that. So. True that. All right. Yeah. I mean, go twice. Go, that's, that's fine. Let's do this shape. What am I doing? All right. Roll that perception check for me. 18 motherfuckers. All right. All right. So there's two paths, the left and the right. The left-hand path looks much easier than the right-hand path. However, with that roll, you notice there's an especially vicious-looking splint on the ledge above that left side. And if you hope to get up there without an attack, you're going to need to kill it. Additionally, because your roll was so good, you actually can see a spot of the ledge that the splint has left unguarded, so you know exactly how to get up there without being attacked. So, because your roll was so good... Now, when everyone makes their athletic check, you you will not get an attack of opportunity from the split. Hmm. What about and the, the path on side? the right looks, yeah, difficult. <laughs> 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 okay. It looks uh, more difficult. Uh, uh, it's a hundred words. Just generically word. specific. Like uh, difficult I would how? say, I would say, uh, on a scale of one to twenty, the path on the <laughs> left looks like a fifteen, and the path on the right looks like a twenty. <laughs> I paint you a word picture more. <laughs> <laughs> okay, excellent. Excellent. All right. Cool. So I think we're going to go left, everybody. And <laughs> well deduced. <laughs> All right. Excellent. Make that athletics I'm check good. for me, everybody. I Ooh. sure didn't just roll a five. I better roll now <laughs> for my athletics check after you said that. Oh, uh, 14 plus one. Five plus zero. Yeah. And it's a two plus two for Dave. Yeah, <laughs> so for Twin. the third time in a row, Dave and Cedric <laughs> in a flailing pile of limbs <laughs> come slamming back to earth. And Carl's like, maybe you guys just don't climb next to each other. You know what I'm saying? Like, what if you just didn't? Uh, my first one was almost, I almost got it the first time. Damn it. Uh, <laughs> All right. Bridget. I, I got a... 12 plus 14. You make it up. All right. So, Claw and Bridget, you both have advantage on your attack rolls. As you make it to the top, you do not get an attack of opportunity, but the splint frees itself from the wall and joins the other two, which skittered up next to you as you made it up the oh, ledge. They're up next to us and not down there with them. Exactly. Okay. Uh, no, they're down there with them. Sorry. Fun. Wait, even the, the, the one that we just got? No. Okay, cool. All right. Not that one. Not, Not that, that one. one. That one. That one is up there with you. Okay. Two of them so are down with us. With a... Two damaged yeah. ones down here with us. One not one okay. So the hip bone is thinking. connected to the thigh bone, <laughs> exactly, which is in turn connected to the ankle bone. I don't know. Is it fifteen right. feet? Oh, Kla, <laughs> you are up first. Okay. Um, I'm gonna do an unarmed strike on the one next to us. Nice. Um, and I'm going to do a key strike as well. Cool. After that. How many blows, how many punches does that mean you get? Uh, let's. A thousand punches. <laughs> uh, three. Three, three attacks. Flurry All right. Really Flurry small E Honda move. <laughs> <laughs> Flurry of blows is two <laughs> extra punches. All right, roll those three d twenty for me. All right, so the first one oh, ho, 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 is a twenty. That's not good nice. The second one is a fourteen, and the third one is a fifteen. Wow! I All right, have been rolling with dice this whole time. All hit. All right, you vault over Bridget, plant yourself in a horse stance, and you, with a flurry of wings and claws, reduce. The splint in front of you to dust. Just just crazy cawing and scratching, and it's gone. It just doesn't exist anymore. Boy, you could say you cut that one to the bone. If you wanted to say There's, that, you could <laughs> say, the bone. say that. There's literally no amount of damage you could roll on most of these that you wouldn't kill it. Okay. 
Yeah, so I've decided to let you kill it with some dramatic flair. Sweet. <laughs> All right. The one below is going to take aim at Bridget, who is up above. It's going to use its multi-attack and shoot two bone spears at Bridget. That is going to be a 20. So 20 and a 13. Uh, 20, a 20 will definitely do it, but 13. Yeah. Okay, so the second spear misses, but the first one, it absolutely hurls this spear and hits you for the maximum damage of 10 damage. Ouch. All right, cool. However, Bridget, it is your turn. Uh, oh, get him. Get him. Okay, I hate to be this asshole, but uh, how many stories are we up now? You are three up. The cliff's ledge is just above you, but it appears to be your most difficult climb yet. Okay, so if I, like, push him off with a gust of wind, would he, would one of them, like, do, would that do damage to them? For sure, Zs. Okay, let me see. I'm just make, gonna make sure that this won't push them off. Of is this like the shattering? If one of us makes it up, are we good? <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. So um, I'm going to use gust of wind. All on right. The the two that are down there because there's nobody up near me anymore. Yep, there are two down there. There are two down there. I'm going to use it on them. Um, so I a line of strong wind, sixty feet long and ten feet wide. I'm going to use it just to the side so I don't get the my two party members in it. Blasts from you in the direction of your cho choice. Each creature that starts its turn in the line must succeed a strength saving throw or be pushed 15 feet away, so I assume that would be off the ledge. Yeah, so they need to make a strength saving throw, or they're gonna fall. Exactly. All right. See how they do. They have to beat a 13. No! First one goes flying off the ledge, shatters down out of your sight. Second one rolls a natural one, and <laughs> just not even close, smashes <laughs> against it, and then falls down. Both remaining splints are defeated. I have a bone to pick with you. Mm. I don't know. Justin, oh, Justin oh, oh, you could, nice. Sure looks like you jump their bones. Huh? Oh, huh? Or no? they're I like dust the in the wind. <laughs> yeah, I just All said that. they are is dust in the wind. <laughs> no, what? Well done. All right. Uh, oh, that oh everyone... wait, no, I got it. You sure did throw us a bone. Oh, that's a great I, one. I, I, sorry. All right, with no splints standing in your way, let's do that athletics check again for those of you who didn't make it up. Or we could just keep doing bone jokes. 14. <laughs> standing around. Uh, not going to do it. 13 plus 2. That is going to do it. Dave makes it up. Claw and Bridget, roll strength checks for me. Uh, that's 3 plus 2. Five, mm -hmm. 5 plus 3. Not going to do it. All right. I had a big breakfast. God damn it. <laughs> so while you're doing that, you hear scuttling from the wall and two more splints scuttle into view. Oh, excellent. And Bridget, you're still at the front, right? Because you haven't made it up. Yeah. All right. All right. Snedrick, because we stopped mid round, I'm going to let you go first this round and we'll go around. So Snedrick, you're up first. All right. I'm... So, so we just got the one to take out now, right? Two, two. Or yeah, the, the two new ones. Okay, and are they on my level or are they up there with everybody else? Because I'm still a level below everybody else. They are up there with everybody else. Nice. All right. Um, I am gonna fuck it. I'm gonna use my ray of frost again. I know it lacks creativity, but I don't want to waste a spell well, this late in the game. But it's a cantrip, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Plus. Plus, you got sweet bone puns to th to go. I with don't. It, I don't so. think I have another one for oh, cold. God. I just yeah. So all right, winter's bone. Come on. Well, all right, I got uh, <laughs> fourteen plus five, nineteen. That'll hit. Uh, and I'm gonna go with the one that looks, uh, you know, the taller of the two. Sure. And I'm gonna do <laughs> seven damage. Seven damage. Well you done. Say, there's there's gotta be something about like it's so cold and you're only skin and bone. I'm sure there's right? something there. No. I'll work. We'll workshop it. There. I don't Icicle. need nothing. Winner's bone. Icicle. Oh, there you Icicle. go. Winner's bone is good. That's good. I but... did a, yeah. Thank you. Winner's bone. <laughs> Oscar winning. Thank yeah. I, I, I feel like, uh, I feel like I don't have to come up with anything until we kill him. And I don't think I did that with. <laughs> <laughs> All 
That's you fair. did not know. Uh, but that that frost hits it. A big chunk of its bone freezes and breaks away. Dave, you're up next. If you have a water thing, we could do like soak to the bone, maybe. <laughs> I would like to cast magic stone. All right. Ooh. Now that's a bonus action, so you can do that as well as other stuff. Also, for before that, um, <laughs> I would like to well played, well played. Take out my blunderbuss and shoot it. <laughs> shoot the blunderbuss from close right. range too. It's a, uh, it's yeah, a perfect fifteen foot weapon. Oh, that's now, fun. Everyone else will need to make a dexterity saving throw. Oh. To okay. avoid this blunderbuss attack. I'm okay with that. All right. Would be. Uh, 16 plus 2, so 18. Okay, but it's only if he hits. So, oh, okay. uh, Dave, oh, okay. yeah, Dave, roll that, uh, roll that d20 for me. 20. 20 maximum damage. Well done. Bam. All right, everybody. They make a dexterity saving throw. I feel like they shouldn't I, have to. I'm using my 18 damage. I shot it perfectly. All right, 18. Oh, ho, ho. 18 plus one. Nice. Nine plus five. Wait, I shouldn't have nice. to. I'm not even on the same level as, as him in the back. Oh, yeah, you're not on the, you're not on the same level. This blunderbuss is pretty dangerous. I think you should I'm holding to. on to my fucking 18 for the next <laughs> yeah. roll for something. Yeah. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, they all, you all dive out of the way as Dave <laughs> fires his fucking <laughs> blunderbuss. <laughs> Point blank. <laughs> Point blank into the face of this. <laughs> Creature. <laughs> Dave, roll 2d8 for me, you murderous bastard. 2d8. Mm -hmm. okay. I just have this image of you just whipping out that gun and us being like, oh no. <laughs> yeah, right. All right, I got a six <laughs> and mm -hmm. a six. Yep, that does it. It explodes. <laughs> well, wait, wait, wait. Doesn't the other one also have to roll a dexterity saving throw? Oh, it does. Thank Ammo. you. Good. Catch? Who's running this let, game? That's my catch. Yeah, exactly. No, that's a good catch. All right, let's see if let's see if the second. Oh, one so this makes this it. other one can like accident if he rolls badly, <laughs> he's gonna like trip and fall off the ledge and <laughs> well not get out of the way of the blunder bus. So here's the good news. It rolled a critical miss. So <laughs> oh. what you didn't know is that these two splints were in love. <laughs> <They are. laughs> So the second splint dives in front of the first one, like the bodyguard, <laughs> not realizing. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and both of them are blown to dust where they go to splint heaven and live happily in eternity forever. Because in this universe, the only real heaven is splint heaven. I just made that canon. I love it. <laughs> they really blundered that one up. Bus. Blundered. <laughs> uh, Snedrick, roll that uh, athletics check for me. Blun nope. Ah, uh, nine. <laughs> All right, everyone else, roll a strength check. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Just I, I, audience, please picture Snedrick. <laughs> All right. Bridget pulls him up, but I do want everyone to picture Snedrick down at the bottom just being like, come on, guys. Hip, hip, hip. <laughs> All right. It's the final push. All the enemies are dead. This is a straight up and down athletics check. It's a tricky one. Either you make it to the top or you fall and take some damage. So everybody roll one last athletics check. We don't me. have to like decide on our route or anything. No perception, no route. There's just a ledge above you. Oh boy, I got a I critical got... miss on this one. Oh, okay. <laughs> I got a 13 plus 2, 15. I wasted my critical hit. Oh man. I, I also got a one. I got a one. <laughs> okay. I think that should come as no fucking surprise at this point. 18. Dave, Claw, you scramble over the final ledge, but you are too preoccupied to see Bridget's hand slip, and she starts to fall, knocking Snedrick free of the ledge as well to certain death below, when all of a sudden, two strong, dark-skinned hands appear over the top ledge of the cliff and hold the two of you over the ledge. Bridget, you're pulled to safety, and a great red-bearded face of an elf looms over the cliff and looks down at you, Snedrick, and says... Let me ask you something. 
do you eat ass? I, I reckon it depends on the not during pandemics, no, but but it depends <laughs> on the ass. It's only dangerous in New York State. That's the only health department. <laughs> that's the only well then, he says, welcome home. <laughs> The preceding podcast was a production of Puzzle and a Thunderstorm, LLC. Copyright 2020. All rights reserved.